Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. AMC attendance surpasses 2019 levels for the first time during the lockdown thanks to Marvel's Shang-Chi. In this one, we have an important article to go through and isn't it nice to see the mainstream media for once not bashing AMC? More than 2 million people watched movies at AMC US-based cinemas between September 2nd and September 5th. So within three days, over 2 million people went to AMC theaters. These are the same theaters that the mainstream media has been saying are obsolete and that no one's ever going to use, making the highest number of admissions for Labor Day weekend in the company's history. This holiday weekend also marked the first time since the beginning of the lockdown that attendance during a weekend in 2021 outpaced attendance from the same weekend in 2019. AMC's Adam Aaron pointed to the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings as the main drivers of foot traffic over the holiday weekend. On top of that, there are some more hit movies coming out very soon here. Disney's Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings topped 90 million in sales in domestic box office over the four-day Labor Day weekend, helping AMC Entertainment smash its admissions record for the holiday. More than 2 million people watched the movies at AMC West-based cinemas between September 2nd and September 5th, marking the highest number of admissions for Labor Day weekend in the company's history. This encouraging surge in attendance at AMC signals that as Hollywood releases movies, Americans eagerly want to return to movie theaters again, said CEO Adam Marin in a statement as of Tuesday. Shares at AMC jumped about 7% during intraday trading Tuesday. Aaron pointed out the new Marvel film Shang-Chi as the main driver of foot traffic to AMC theaters over the holiday weekend. Shang-Chi tallied 71.4 million in ticket sales over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the second highest opening during the lockdown, just behind Black Widow, which tallied 80 million during its debut in July. Its total box office haul for the four-day holiday weekend topped 90 million, nearly triple that of the previous Labor Day weekend record holder, Halloween, which was released in 2007 and collected 30.6 million. So there we have it, guys. Some positive news in the mainstream media for once about AMC. I love to see it. And although AMC did partially trade off of this today, AMC was up around 7-8% as the day closed. The craziest part of this all is that the majority of AMC shareholders, which is the retail investors that own the majority of the AMC float, are holding on to AMC for particularly different reasons. A lot of the AMC shareholders are holding on to AMC because of the short interest and because of the fact that the mother of all short squeezes is right around the corner. But however you want to look at it, AMC's outlook is very bullish all around. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.